All right, away from football now, former First Lady of Nigeria, Patience Jonathan, has accepted to champion the development of uh, 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 curling in Nigeria. The Nigerian Curling Federation, formed in 2017, in 2022, became the first African team to qualify for the Youth Olympic Games and will make a debut at the South Korea 2024 Youth Olympics. Our team Nigeria comprises of six players and two extras and will be participating in doubles and mixed doubles category next year at the Youth Olympics. I wish to clarify my commitment to supporting and promoting the growth of calling in Nigeria. In this role, I will work hard to ensure that the Nigeria Calling Federation emerge as a vibrant sports community that nurtures silence and promotes sports in Nigeria. Sport development is what we should practice and not sport participation. What we've been practicing in this country is sport participation. For example, I built, we built coiling from scratch. You can see the results we are achieving because we believe in developmental program. We have players across the world, the diaspora player, but yet we chose to come back home, pick the locals and make the impossible happen and which we have done so. The experience generally was a very enlightening experience because we, we got to see from people who have played the sport multiple times and experience it for ourselves. I think if we put enough effort and determination and we strive hard enough and with the help of our new patriots, we will be able to get medals for Nigeria. At the beginning it was very strange and it was challenging. It seemed hard but later on when I picked it was it's a, it's a cool game. All right, our correspondent Jay Nunwese joins us live uh, from Abuja at this time. Jane, I'm calling as a sport. Uh, if I do a vox pop now, go to the streets of Lagos, Abuja, and ask people if they know what calling is, perhaps they will ask me, am I talking about uh, Jerry Coiling? Or what kind of coiling am I talking about? As a sport, no one is talking about the sport in Nigeria. What is the Federation really doing uh, beyond going for the Youth Olympics, gathering some kids in Abuja, and all of that? Do we even have the facility? To train here in Nigeria? Well, uh, facility is one of the things they are struggling with. It's um, also part of the reason why they are now going out and looking for support and um, trying to bring people on board. It's not a popular sport. It's not a sport that uh, I mean. Okay. okay, it's a live situation. Hopefully, Jane can reconnect on the program. I'll just ask that. I mean, Colleen, look at how Colleen is played. Let's, let's have that footage again. Um, we don't have such. Neither are the national, look at this, Bolu. We don't have this kind of facility in National Stadium, Abuja. We don't have this in any of the Nigerian stadiums in this country. <laughs> so where do our athletes train? Let's start from football. We have facilities <laughs> good enough to train footballers. <laughs> where do our callers train? We're going for the Youth Olympics. Are we going to participate or we're going to compete? Sometimes uh, these events, uh, they get world grants for things like this. Okay. That one is on the side. I remember when uh, Bob Slayer came out, oh, we want to build a, a facility Bob Slayer like that has snow and, and skeleton. Like it is not. I'm not saying we shouldn't compete or participate. You can have maybe a country abroad that you layers with, mm -hmm. that you work hand in hand with. But say okay. we want to have it here. Uh, uh, okay. Jane is back on the program from Abuja. Jane, let's, let's quickly have your thoughts. Well, uh, like I was saying earlier, so I mean, I heard you and, uh, talking about the fact that there are some sports that are not particular uh, to us, and we've um, it hasn't also worked sustaining it in Nigeria. I think curling is one of them, but it's also very interesting to know that speaking to the children yesterday, they were very excited. The fact that they just picked them from you know where they were maybe doing regular things like football, which we are used to, or some other things, picked them, trained them, and they went out there. And uh, in Finland and faced other countries who, you know, have been exposed to curling even before them. 
and managed to get that ticket, become the first African country um, to get a ticket to take part in the Youth Olympics next year. So I think maybe it's a sport we should actually give a chance. Okay, well, it, it, it's, it's interesting to know that uh, we've got a couple of uh, kids who have qualified uh, to compete at the Youth Olympics. What is the Federation doing to generate interest beyond the few kids that they have gathered that will go to the Youth um, um, uh, 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 Games? How are they trying to generate interest? Because I look at this sport and it doesn't look like one that will captivate the interest of a young boy in Agidingbi or uh, um, a young lady in Mushin. How is the Federation trying to, to get the sports uh, down to the grassroots and get uh, our people to play the sport? Well, uh, I think the first thing which actually points to the fact that they are trying to generate an organic interest in the sports is the fact that they actually had an opportunity, you know, just like every other sport is doing like the bobsled and skeleton you talked about, even Nigeria football, where we have talents abound in Nigeria, still scouts the whole of Europe and America to look for talents to play for the Super Eagles and Super Falcons. They said, you know, we could have done the same thing. We could have gone to Nigerians living abroad who have been playing, calling all their lives um, to come and represent Nigeria. But we chose to come back and make that investment bring people who have never even heard about the sports, probably showed them on the video that this is what we're talking about before training them first on artificial surfaces here in Nigeria and then taking them abroad on a proper eye surface to practice before the actual tournament. So by the time these kids go back to school, um, go back to their various schools and talk to their peers about the sports, that's how we're going to have a, you know, an organic interest that we can do this. It's real. We don't have the facility, but... With the little we have, we can actually, you know, so I, I think they, they already started on the right foot, in my opinion, and it's it's actually the best way to start. Maybe a lot more investment in the media to put it out there, you know, to make that noise, to generate that um, much more uh, interest for fan followership. But I think um, going to the grassroots to bring the people that, you know, would come back to tell the story to the people in Nigeria, I think that's a good one. Okay, well, I, I, I hope the sport ministry is...